many of the stories of it not working because a lot of centers really aren't that good at it. Uh, egg freezing, uh, which we first brought to the United States uh, from Japan uh, back in 2003, uh, really requires operator skill. Uh, the timing is really crucial. This, uh, there are so many things you can do. For example, when you're taking the egg uh, uh, to thaw it out of the liquid nitrogen, if you take it out slowly to put it in the warm media, it'll what we call de-vitrify and be destroyed. Uh, you have to freeze it really, really fast. And um, so uh, there's, a, uh, there's an operator skill involved in egg freezing uh, that is really, really important. And there are many centers that really don't have that skill. Now, the second aspect of it is 37-year-old eggs. So... 37-year-old eggs are naturally going to have a lower success rate than eggs that are under 35 years of age. That's why we want to freeze them at 37 and not wait till you're 38 or 39 or 40 while the eggs get even worse. So with 37-year-old eggs, uh, with, uh, say, uh, embryo transfer of two day three embryos or a single blastus, uh, you should have somewhere around a 40, 50% uh, baby rate. Uh, but... I would want to have more than just that number of eggs. I'd, I want to be able to have, say, 10 or 20 or 30 eggs from a 37-year-old woman to give her her maximum chance of having a baby. But I wouldn't want to do that with overstimulation. I want to do that with proper stimulation that is moderate so we don't just get a bunch of bad quality eggs. So, no, egg freezing really is the real thing. It really works, but it requires competence to do it. So the stories you heard are really true, but hopefully that won't happen with you because you really want to have your eggs frozen in a competent way.